Number 16, Ivan Ludovice. Power forward, number 22, Red Kaune. At shooting guard, number 7, Katie Menes. Small forward, number 11, Paul Sana. And at center, number 28, Gabby Espinas. And coach for the Marlins is John Callius. Officials for the ball game are crew chief Jonal Donas. Umpire number one, Hiram Scott. Umpire number two, Alberto Chica. Lisi Carurujan, Christian Hernandez, Aaron Gallosa, and Carlos Dava. Jonathan Bell is the crew chief, together with uh, Hiram Scott and Norberto Giga. Ball is up and we are underway at the Batanga City Coliseum as Marikina get the steal there. Raymond Casajeros is in the first five. Para sa Marikina to take the lead to uh, Afrin Gayosa with that long uh, jumper. Two to nothing. Okay, also finding himself open, taking that three with no hesitation. Usually, pag malamig, you move that ball around. But I like what he did. I do the same thing. Nobody would expect you to make the shot. Mira mo lang. Uh, I've seen a handful of those when you were still playing. Nabibigla kami, tapos nag-re-rec... Pasalamat ka, walang social media nun. Totoo nga. Kasi kung may social media nun... Nabash ka ba? Pagpiling mo, mamabash ka? Oh, definitely. Kahit nga walang social media. Kahit walang social media. I remember after games, kotse namin, bubu. Dava. Against the Gabi Espinas. Bigay kay Alfred Gayosa. Karuruka. They swing it over to Casajero. Goes baseline. Uh, Ubisa na Coras. And uh, Marikina Shumasters. Overpassing naman. Overpassing and nobody communicating. Nobody yelling from the bench kung anong oras na natitira. But still, I like what the, the ball movement because that will make the defense really move. And that's what Marikina needs to do against Sarangani. Move that ball. Last of Sana is so strong para kay uh, Ludo Pise. Another turnover for Sarangani. Two quick turnover. Tingin na natin si Delphi makakapag. They do create turnovers and many turnovers favor them, but they cannot seem to capitalize. Just as I said. And the counter steal by Gayosa. Here's Casajeros. Travel. I jinxed it. Kakasabi ko lang. Sloppy start para sa dalawang teams natin. Turnovers in their previous games. This is something they need to cut down, lessen it. 
especially against Sarangani, who knows how to capitalize on these turnovers. Bola pa rin ang Sarangani, though the referee was actually pointing to Marikina. Was able to change that ball, and Kit Jimenez is looking for the foul on Casanel. Alam mo, Kit for Tat, ang kanilang turnovers, ano? But you see, in the long run, like I said earlier, mas deep bench ang Sarangani, and that's the reason why these turnovers will hurt Marikina later on, because they cannot afford to make turnovers, especially when the second unit of Sarangani comes in. That's when they all start scoring and running even harder than the first group. Casajeros knocks down the first group, of course, the second unit of uh, Sarangani is as deadly as you can get. And John C. Andoy Estrella, uh, Donald Kumaru, John John Gabriel, the big man. So Delvin JV, marami ng familiar faces dito sa lineup ng Sagangani Marlins OK Bet. Pero ayon kay assistant coach Andrew, consistent ang pagpanalo ng kupunan nila dahil ini-instill talaga nila ang no superstar, everybody contributes mindset sa lahat ng player. In high spirits ganda ang players ni coach John Gallius kasi this past week, they were able to celebrate the birthdays of Ivan Ludovice and team owner Boss Nolan. They were able to do that together, which has really helped though with their camaraderie. Another thing they want to keep consistent for the rest of the season, that they maintain the fact that they have no injuries. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jana. Thank you, Jana. Uh, uh, we'll see uh, Marikina first. Uh, you, you know, that's a bit of everything uh, Jana pointed out. It really stems from the kind of coaching uh, I think she coached John Cajas implement sa kanyang team. Everybody unselfish, walang pa star effect, everybody helping each other. And it's just the win that they're after and no personal gain. And at, at, at the end of the day, that's sila. Maganda. Going back to your, your point, Coach JV, it's, it's actually very, you know, with, 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 with the Saragani team and how it's set up, you know, syempre may mga veterano dyan. Have an up and coming star, Kit Jimenez, and, and uh, Shepard off the bench. Mara, mara, marami silang na pieces, kumbaga. Marami talaga at yung mga experienced players nila have embraced the new, young, the highly talented players that they have. Napakagandang attitude na ipinakita ng mga players na sarangan. Kauna so, goes two for two. Malaki bagay yun for, for Coach John Kyle, just everybody on the same page. Bonding together off the court. Matt Guinness taken away by Ludovice. Jimenez. Get Gabi Espinas. He's been a willing passer. Get Jimenez. And uh, Gabi Espinas has, a, has his first basket of the game. I'm pretty sure in the previous games, all the coaches have prepared against Jimenez and Ludovice, leaving everybody open. Ito makita natin, five turnovers each for both teams. Start Daba missing on the three by Tulak on that rebound play. That's a Christian Hernandez. I know this is very tentative to Marikina, but it's a fast break. Easy basket for Spinas right there. Very tentative to Marikina sa kanila kopensa. They make a lot of passes. Questionable passes sometimes get na uhule. And I would rather see them take the shot because in the end they're free. And do the passes are the ones creating an open shot for the teammates. Here's your man, caption, shoot, no. party this time. Well, he does what he does best, and that's to get the offensive rebound. Aaron is special in the ball game for Marikina. Dava. 
Venus from way out. No good. Rebound. Ocampo. Back up to Gayosa. Jimenez tapping that ball away. Gotta like the effort here from Kid Jimenez. I can't see myself doing that nowadays. Of Play. course. Yeah. At our age. No, 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 your age. Yeah, at my age. My, sorry. my age, I can play. Yeah, you can still. Yeah. <laughs> you'd be probably, I'm pretty sure you were still playing when you were at my age. You were. You'd probably dive and bounce a bit, but that's the cute part about you doing it. <laughs> In my case, I, I, I don't yeah, think I get it. You know, you know, I, I, I tried basketball. As soon as it dropped to alert level one, I was there on the court the first day, March one. I remember. Until now, hindi na ako nakapalik. 5 on 5, nagdaro ka dyan. Hindi ko win. I was, na-chase down ako. And then, I I used my right hand to protect me from the balls. Na-injury kayo po. And to take a look at this, uh, great hustle gamit kay uh, Kit Jimenez. At mukhang hindi pa nag-a-outside ng ball, maganda yata save na nun. But see, pagka-actual motion, hindi hirap makita. Just in time to beat the shot clock, Aaron Estacio. 9 to 6. Ang mga Marikina. Makikita mo sa tira ni Estacio talagang buong buulog niya. On a move there from Ludovice. That will go out of bounds. So that I mentioned earlier, Marikina very tentative in their shots and even in their passing. But Estacio proved my point. Pagka buulog mo, make that move, take that shot. And you'll see, good things can come out come out of it by making that attempt. A compost jumper. Yes! Total pressure now being implemented by Marikina. Here's the menace. Pass to uh, the Davise. Sana is open and knocks it down. Selfish play there by Ludo Vise. Finding himself free, but he saw a better opportunity, better position player in Sanga taking that three point shot. Guinness fires. Too strong. Rebound to Campo. Ball tapped by Sanga. Here's Gayosa. Lebas ulit kay Guinness. Ang atake. Tough shot. Five misses from Matt Guinness here early. Over five to start the ball game. Ludovice, 9 to 11 ang ating score. Ivan. Medjo Boy Pasivas. Short on the trade. Boy, napunta kay Kauna ng bola. It was a lucky turn of events para sa kanya. 4 points para kay Rick Kauna. Makikita being at the right place at the right time. Tumumpas na sa kanya eh. Bumalik na lang. Second deadlock of the game, 9 11 all. After four, three minutes and five seconds remaining here. I'm glad it's over, honestly. Yeah, totoo. 
the election period was really some happy, some sad, yeah. some controversies. But enough of that basketball that I have go inside, the drop pass. Ocampo, right place at the right time. And that's a great play coming out of a timeout. Moving without the ball, one of the best things I really like about basketball. And that's what we're talking about Golden State Warrior players. They're moving without the ball, and that's why I'm happy they're back on top. Babalikan ko lang. Gayosa, moving without the ball, finding back door. Going back door, finding his teammate free after attracting the attention of the defense. Aganda. And the Warriors, uh, Dami na toa, na fans, kahapon. And one of them is you. So, uh, pinasok na sa game ni eh, Coach John Callius, Donald Gomaru, Pedro Ingan, and uh, John Gabriel. And Andoy Estrella, John Gabriel, uh, scores to tie the game at 13 once again. Earlier, pinakita yung rebounding situation. Anik sa sakakani, wala po malikina. Pero Minga putting pressure on his special. Recovered by Guinness. Drops it off to a... Dexter Tolentino. Oh, sorry. Alam mo, earlier, pinag-uusapan natin, pero bago yan. Nice drop pass sana, but proper defense. Another. You know, from our angle, hindi ko talaga siya kapit. Si Gabriel, tsaka si Basibas yung nakapayong sa kanya eh. Oh! Dexter! with uh, exacting revenge on Gabriel with that block as well Last 
shot of the period. Estacio, well defended by Casillas. Sad situation there for Marikina. Uh, Valentino was free under, but Estacio had it in his head to really try to you know, finish off the line instead of making it. The sport closest to the heart of Filipino. And I'm working with the person close to my heart, Mr. JP Gayoso. Salamat sa the Marikina with a three-point lead, the field goal shooting in the first quarter. Ito natin, 6 of 15 for Sarangani, not so good. 7 of 19 naman for Marikina. Something caused by a lot of tentative shooting. Matt Guinness, not tentative at all as not he scores his uh, first basket. 20 to 15, five-point lead. And uh, Gabriel, a bit of just sloppy with the ball there. That's tapped away by Tolentino. He plays in Tolentino. Here's Aaron Estacio. Got eight seconds to work with. Estacio. J.K. Ocampo. Five to shoot. Mendoza has it. Attacks. Gets blocked by Gabriel. And that guy para sa yeah, I can see you were trying to mention that without being, um, without hurting the feelings of the players who will probably hear us. You know, and damning open, Estacia held the ball too long, and they had so many teammates wanting the ball. But this is a, these are the times that you really have to learn. Because the defense ng ng Sarangani ang hirap nyo. Big lang papasa ka nala. Mister Torino, what a masterful job there, Basibas. Not a shot. Then got to myself again. Oh, I am again. Uh, the only way you know that ball will go in is if you let go and take the shot. Salamat, Sir Delpa. Salamat, talaga. Ito mga banggit lang natin sa offensive rebounding sa ating first quarter. Six of five. Six. Again, six of five. Favoring Marikina. Second chance points, five naman for Marikina compared to two para sa Sarangani. We have an update from uh, Shihana Diana. Sa Delphin JV, nabanggit ni Matt Guinness of the Marikina Shoe Masters na bago mag-upis ang bawat laro, nag-uusap talaga sila bilang isang kukunan that they all have to step up. He said he admits that it's been a big loss and very hard for the team na wala na si Ives Sazon. So they all really have to start leading, especially him and Alfred Gayosa, who are the returnees of the team. But he also shares that pretty much instilled in sa kanya ang sistema ni Coach Elvis because he has been a player of Coach Elvis ever since he was really young. Now under the leadership of Coach Piche, the Marikina Shoe Masters are confident that they will get this quarter as well because conditioning has been the focus of their practices recently. And if they have successful matchups, they can take the entire game. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jana. And I know the coach Damien has an importance in the condition. Yes, it's a lot. And it's a beautiful thing about Guinness, taking the cudgels for his team, leading everybody. And those are the words that he was saying to cover up for the people who are no longer in this team. It's a lot because that is encouragement at its finest. You know, Sir Delp, this is Guinness. Sinasabi nga natin, ang daming tinitira. Pero he takes the shots, hindi mo mapilit. And at the same time, pag nag-miss, his teammates are there. Nahuli lang sa kanilang, uh, sa previous possession nila, na, naka tumulak lang yung kanyang teammate. I believe it's Campo who made that push. What's good about him as well is, uh, he plays great defense. Guinness, uh, he gets a breather now. Malik na si uh, Raymond Casajero, si the ball game. Tasho, Itimon for Marikina. Dexter Tolentino now with Casajeros. Raymond fires. Pucks up No hesitation. Find yourself free, take the shot. Four points for Casajeros. Ludovice is back in the game. Ludovice for three. Too strong. Rebound, Don Don Gomaro. Drops it off to Yagabi Espinas. Lebas Olete Gomaro. Ten seconds to shoot. Gomaro's baseline change is money. Two points for Gomaro. Sino ba bantayan mo sa team ng Sarangani? You have to gamble sometimes when you play defense. Iiwanan mo tao mo. Pero kung sino man ang naiiwan libre dito sa Sarangani, turnover there by Marikina. Miscommunication. That situation. 
Marikina is giving them a run for their money. They're really playing top defense and catching them off guard. Coach Elvis, alam ko kung matulong rin siya sa coaching staff. Ano? Eh, nandun talaga ang puso niya sa pag-coach sa kanyang kukunan. Taken away by Kim Jimenez. With a V-Sex. Surprisingly, sa Delft, mas marami pa ang turnovers ng Sarangani compared dito sa Marikina. And you'd expect it to be opposite. Ano? You, you, you see a lot of turnovers being created by the defense of Sarangani. And still, tie ball game. 24 to 23. Sarangani with the lead. So it's capitalizing on those turnovers. Yung medyo nakakulang ang effort ng Marikina. Or sad to say na hindi sila nakakapag-capitalize ng turnovers created by Sarangani. So the Visa grabs the rebound off the Casajeros. Gomaro stop and pop. No, Casajeros with the rebound. Tamaruka. Africa Yosa is in the game. Casajero's cross for fast, Gallosa for straight, in and out, Ocampo with the offensive rebound, the Bascuna, Gallosa thought about it, goes to Ocampo down low, and steal by Ludovice, back up, Sarangani. Nice throw there, but Gallosa taking a strong pass to his teammate, rolling to the basket. Going against Danny Marilao. Legal, legal pick. And it's a it's a Get going before they use the pick. Each time that they threaten to make a run, they turn over today. Nagkakaroon din ng turnovers. Napakarami nga ng turnovers ng Sarangani. Kaya yun nga, nabanggit mo bakit hindi lumalamang na malaki ang Sarangani against a uh, Marikina team that isn't as star-studded quote-unquote no? I don't want to hurt the feelings of Marikina supporters it's just that once you see if you look at the team of Marikina you wouldn't expect them to give Sarangani a fight for their money a hard time a hard time Maganda ang ginagawa ng Marikina. They're playing tough defense. They're challenging shots. They're getting offensive rebounding. Casajeros on the line. Check natin if he makes the first. And he misses. Could have tied the ball game. Casajeros missed the last game against Bob City. One for two. Five points. Four minutes remaining here in the half for uh, Marikina and Sumangani. Tied at 24. There's a foul on Nava and I don't think he was aware that nasa penalty na sila. I was gonna say the same thing. Kita mo, yan ang gusto ko sa partnership natin, nakakaintunta. I was gonna see it the same thing because he looked shocked after the foul and then, diba? And uh, the, the V said, certainly didn't mind. He didn't mind at all. Didn't mind getting, um, getting to the line again for two free throws. Hindi mo siya na pupuno ang Batangas City Coliseum, your favorite venue in the MVP. <laughs> Napakasarap kasi po niya ay papatang kasi may second one. Four points para kay Ivan with the VC all coming at the line. Yung Dava. Names 
Sai de go, Rio Casajero. Rio Casajero, seven points. Prior to that possession, Casajero always pop out on the three. This time, cutting in towards the basket, getting himself an easy layup. Hmm, nabitawan ni Ludovici ang bola. Gayosa, one-hander, he'll get the roll. I love the spin of the shot, the spin of the man who the ring, kaya may awa sa kanyang tira. Nine points for Gayosa. Back-to-back baskets, Casajeros on the drive. Karurukan with the steal, waiting for Gayosa. Nice backspin on that push shot. Marikina with a two-point lead. Shop appliances. Sa dapat itong second quarter natin, mas gumaganda ang nangyayari for Marikina. They're, they're able to capitalize on the turnovers. Ito, sinecheck natin kung nila ang points of turnovers. Wow! Wala sa eksena si Casajeros, but Kit Jimenez missing on the three. Gayosa spins away from trouble. Natapik is recovered. May Ocampo, ball will stay with Marikina. Permit me to point out to Delph, 12 points of turnovers na ang Marikina. And that's what keep, what's keeping them up against Sarangani. We have a timeout on the floor once again. Marikina with a two-point lead against Sarangani. Casajeros did not want to release. Kaya nagagawa ng intense defense ng Sarangani at mahahaba pa mga galamay ng mga players ng Sarangani. Field goal percentage, 4 of 10 from Marikina, 2 of 7 lang para sa Sarangani. Nakapuha ng foul dito ng Sarangani. As Anthony Sistosa set up by Kid uh, Jimenez. Habang nag-aantay tayo sa Delph, meron ako nakunay. How am I pronouncing? I'm probably not pronouncing the word right. Sarangani. Tama ba? Oh, is that right? Alright. Baka may magalit sa akin. Sarangani. Osa. One for two. Gayosa collects the rebound. 28 to 27 ang ating score. Under three minutes remaining here in the second period. Casajeros. Here's the combo. 
Gaiosa. Ocampo, jumper. That won't work. Rebound na po Kit Jimenez. Jimenez, three-pointer. That's short. Rebound ni Casajeros. Daba, Chisposa diving for it. Casajeros. Last touch of the Everybody diving for the possession of that ball. I don't see the ball being replaced. Masana rin siya eh. This. Ball rolling around. Everyone diving for that loose ball. Casajeros. Ang nagigilan. Ang nagigilan. Ang nagigilan. Free throws this quarter. Sanangani already with nine free throws. In the period, hitting seven. Here's Sanga, the fadeaway. Pasakan. Sanga makes the shot look so easy. Parang wala lang. Wala lang. Ay, yung putus na si Paul Sanga. Parang Danny back on top. Ocampo. Nahanap si Gayosa. Gayosa drives. Gayosa rejected. Rigo Vise Taken away by Dava Nice Being there by Dava Estacio trying to reward Dava Ocampo ngayon Back out to Estacio Taking the shoot Gayosa Swings it over to Dava Baseline jumper Yes! Dava was asking for that ball Long before Gayosa passed it to him Kita niya yung mismatch sa ilalim. Finally, Gayosa finds him. Five points. Again, Venus. Sobrang tingin niya kaya Lugovice na pitol siya ng foul. Hindi mo pwedeng bitawan talaga si Lugovice. Ito makikita natin. Dabaw mo that's easy jumper. do the same thing but guarding you the visa no space whatsoever the visa will shoot the 10th and 11th free throws now to Sarangani in the quarter this is gonna be one of those games na yung stats will favor one team pero lamang yung isang team this is a winner free throw na ibang do the visa Tie the game right here. Yes, he does. Brady Moore on the score. Sakto ng isang minuto na natitira dito sa ating second quarter. MPBL is uh, coming to you live from the Batanga City Coliseum. The home of the Batanga City Embassy Shield. Na maglalaro mamaya against the Jets and Warriors. Okay, bet. Pero alam mo si Delph, the adjustment there is not on the defense. I think the adjustment there, since it's way out, pabayaan na ng referee. Because it's way out there anyway. The game has not changed. An unoffensive attempt has not been changed or altered. Sometimes kailangan ng pabayaan to let the game. So this is the first time na nagsama tayo in so many years na nag-overtime ang first half. Well, the fouls have been... It's, the referee's really calling it tight, huh? Unlimited. Jimenez will fly. Jimenez cannot back it in. Gayosa with a rebound. Grab your defense, huh? It's like board war turn. Well, that's nice to see. Like I mentioned, the start of our ball game, very exciting. It's all because everybody is out. 
to get another win kasi sunod-sunod na eventually 3 games a day na tayo so you have to get all these wins as soon as you can oh what a pass there from Estacio but Mojambo could not finish here's Piromingan puts his head down and drives to the basket Tabla Baya 32 Estacio has time 2 seconds Gayosa that won't go for Alfred Gayosa and we end the second quarter the same way we started this ball game Apo with four and uh, we're just about ready to start the second period uh, the third quarter second half rather Alam mo, said the kagandahan dito sa Marikina they pointed out they keep moving without the ball mas marami ang kanilang assist because of the top defense of Sarangani, Marikina really has to move without that ball because hindi nila kaya to penetrate one on one or the group defense being implemented by Sarangani. Pero Mingan, uh, Masipas, and Espinas, and of course, the Lucid on the floor for Sarangani as Gabi Espinas bullying his way through to break the deadlock 34 to 32. Gabi Espinas. Now has seven points. Maganda yung pag-hook niya lang kanyang defender. Hernandez. Listen for the foul. The eagle pick. Oh, pero hindi Frustrating situation there. Now you bump your man to get your teammate free. And Hernandez calls for the push. That foul is called upon him. That leads to a change here. Hernandez. Two quick fouls. Looks like both guys have not moved in here. Let's just have the end. Here's Gabby Espinas. The basket for Rominga swings it over. Jimenez, Ailalim, Pasipas. Ocampo got a hand on that ball, kaya naiba ang direksyon. Nabigla si Pasipas. Nabigla talaga si Pasipas doon because tendency talaga ni Jimenez to be taking those threes and all his teammates knew that. In fact, to the base and told him to take that shot. Jimenez fires off the glass and in. Matt Jimenez. Marikina regains the lead, 35 to 34. Yunus has not been gun shy all throughout the game. And keep on paying off. Here's Kit Jimenez. Backs the D and uh, all goes back to uh, Sarangani. With 12 seconds in their shot clock, Jimenez only with two points so far. Look, five attempts in that first half. Here he is. Nagigay niya kay Ludovice, three-pointer. That won't work. Basipas with offensive rebound. Wala pa rin. Third try for Sarangani. Still doesn't drop. Karurukan to Ocampo. Back to Karurukan. Taken away by Kitty Guinness. That's a hard foul by Matt Guinness. Really looked like a hard foul si Del. Pero yung momentum, Guinness and Jimenez talagang magpasalubong. is okay, just taking his time. Okay, yeah, Maa ito sa midsection doon. Saka nasa airy si, ano eh. I tell you, Matt knows what he was doing there. Of course. Sanay na sanay yan. The blocking foul. Oh, and he is. Second team personal. And Mariki. Tatlong uh, foul agad here in the third. And uh, fouled away from the, the penalty. Gabby Espinas. It's Carlo Dava. Espinas with a spin has to adjust. Gabby Espinas turning back the clock. Tsaka yung clock niya napakabagal. Slow-mo. And it's still hard to defend. 36 to 35. Guinness with another three. Nope. 
Rebound, Gabby Esquinas. You know, when a game that has to stop. It's 94 feet away from the basket, and that puts them in penalty. Puts them in penalty. Yeah, nga, mga tentative decisions. Yung, uh, those shots, kanina nasasabi natin. Hindi nasabi nga natin kanina, yung mga tira nga ni Guinness. Sometimes it works for you, sometimes it works against you. Lou Dovise called for that push. Ivano Dovise has yet to get going in this ball game. Here he is trying to ward off Karurukan who is in his airspace. Extension of the arm, Gita Gita does with that. Ocampo. Alfred Gayosa. Gayosa attacking. Karurukan from the corner. Too strong. And Dava. There's another, there's another foul. To me, that looked like Dava had no choice but to push his penis because he was off balance being pushed by uh, Jimenez. And again, Marikina, they have to understand. Seven minutes. It is the third quarter, and they are already in the penalty. And three of those fouls were actually right here on the other side of the court. Okay. Hindi sa court mga, hindi sa pag-atake ng Sarangani. Yes. Did I, did I sound annoying? No, no, no. <laughs> tama, tama ka dun eh. Because, you know, they, they cannot put themselves in this situation. Or else the running game will stop. All they, they'll do is continuously foul. And people will be taking free throws all night. And Gabi Espinas with uh, six points here in the period. He has 11 now. Turnovers for each team here in the third. Tight, tight. Then yung turnovers natin two and two for each team. 38 to 35. Ang ating score is Karurukan with a good-looking jumper. Na itapyas yung kalamangan to just a single point. Jimenez trying to break free. Kit couldn't get the bounce. Back comes Marikina. Karurukan. Gives it up to Dava. Guinness. All the way to the rack. Could not finish. Or will stay with Marikina. Great hustle there by Gina. Going strong for the basket. Misses and still. Paul tries to follow up. Well tapped out. They retain possession. Blocked by Basibas. Here comes Reggie Boy Basibas. And he is compounding his woes there as a Basibas lays it in for the bucket. You know, Guinness is, has a lot of good intentions, but he's doing so many other things that's hurting his team. Just unnecessary there. Uh, but again, part of uh, the growth process of Marikina. Oh, kasama talaga yun. If I were coaching Guinness, I would still tell him, Tumira ka pa rin! Because nandun eh, buong buong yung loob niya to, to shoot. Here's Karurukan. Kapitawa ng bola, ball will stay with uh, Marikina. Defensa, kung saan sa papasa nakatingin sa sa receiver. And like we mentioned, si Del, puro free throws na lang ang mangyayari sa quarter na ito. Well, the, the tone was set that in that second period. Sa the way the teams have been playing. Hey. Actually, had a, a solid first 
have a couple of uh, blocks for uh, Dexter Filadino, although he had two fouls. Tarurukan. Also Ocampo, another steal for Sarangani, but they throw the ball away. Exactly okay, but they can't just execute it. Well, it's a good thing when they set two man game pick and roll offense, but the pass is telegraphed, and that's why the defenders see where the pass is supposed to be made. That's why the defenders see where the pass is supposed to be made. That's why the defenders see where the pass is Air ball. And the Sarangani scrambling defense. Wonders for the Marlins. They get another stop. Chance to extend the lead, 42 to 37. Halfway through this third quarter. Here's Kitty Menes. Romaro, corner three. Nope. Rebound is Pinas. Katsi Basinas, easy layout. Five orange jerseys na katingin lang kay Espinas after the rebound leaving Basibas taking that easy stroll down to the basket. Sarangani with her biggest lead, 44 to 37. Fourth and 42. Nice score. Last 
scoring points. Walo, four sarangay, sham para sa maripi. Cajeros, Ugayosa. Alfred on the move, challenging the D of Criminales. And Alfred Gayosa will go to the line for two free throws. Oh, oh, and try to get What a move by Gayosa. He just went straight to the man, trying to block his shot. Would it be nice to see him use his left? Percentage is going to with the left hand. Ooh. This is a free throw the best player in Marikina's win over Manila. Last game three. Mendoza comes in. Sherry Mendoza. He's the best hero in Manila. With the time running out, this is the marginal basket. Sanga from way out. No. Gayosa with the rebound. Naita with the gun. Gayosa. The kick out. Irvin Mendoza for three. Offline. Good attempt here. Created by Gayosa. Sarangani 44, we have a timeout. Side of the Batanga City Coliseum. Marikina down by seven and uh, have turned things around with an eight to nothing run. All coming courtesy of Mar Casajeros as Eric Estacio has joined the show. Ten to nothing run. Lamang sila ng tatlo to shoot master. You know, so Jeff, once nung nag-iba ang defense ng Marikina, 1-3-1-D, one, one, implemented with everybody adjusting and moving on defense, biglang nahirapan ang Sarangani. And as I say that, Mar finds the three. 11 points for Kumar. Torrentino puts it in. Forty-nine to forty-seven. Sana will fire. Strong Casajeros has been spectacular here in the third. Torrentino back out to Estacio. And let's see to the Vice. Afrin Gayosa. That's the six second difference, the game clock and shot clock. Gayosa. Oh. Oh. Was he a little piece of it? Yeah. I thought he had the shot. He had, uh, precisely, he had the shot and still wanted to make an extra pass. Kahit na salo yun sa ilalim. Nakapahayong na dalawang defenders. He had the free attempt at the basket and he chose to pass. Sayang, Gayosa. Great move sana. 
Lalem, they go. S. Hashaw on the reverse. Nice play on the inbound right there. Sanga in rhythm. No. Marilao, the stick back. That won't work. Marikina was down by seven here in this third period. But the third things around, the Shoemasters. Our Casajeros helping Marikina. After ito si Gapi, Espinas binigyan ng kalamangan itong uh, Sarangani. So after Espinas actually left the ball game, here we see Casajeros now creating for his team. And uh, ilang susunod-sunod baskets ang ginawa ni Casajeros in the defense. But Mamaru, here we see him hitting the three. 51. Alfred Gayosa on the move, corner, three-pointer from his top shot. That doesn't work. Here comes uh, Sarangani. Ivano Jovice. Maagang na penalty kanina ng Marikina. Let's see if they can make an adjustment here in the third. And the fourth, rather. Gabi Espinas. Gonna get the basket to go. He was asking for a foul. He's been teed up by Jonathan Bella. I don't know, Del, I think make contact huh, when Gabi Espinas made the shot, but because he hooked the defender, I think tit for tat, they let it go. Ito, magito mo, his arm hooking, and then there is slight contact there, so they let go. And this is what upset Gabi Espinas. He was mad. Out of, the, out of the game, Sigapi Espinas is the Sayang because he's been playing well. I was gonna say Sayang because, yes, he, he and not only playing well, very helpful sa, sa offense na Sarangani because nobody can stop him down low unless mag double team. And if they do double team, somebody gets free at the hand. Number 20, Gabi Espinas. For using the very language selected in the official. For incurring a technical foul, a sportsmanlike foul, Gabi Espinas out on the big board. So, that's an sportsmanlike foul and a technical for Gabi Espinas. So, kanina nangyari ang sportsmanlike foul. And uh, for using for Right now, Sidel Kupas talking with our referees, finding out the situation. Of course, Sidel Kupas is for a minute. Uh, yeah. Clarify nothing, Sidel, because I was mentioning to the people watching what you were talking to with, with our referees. Yeah, actually, uh, it's an okay, so it's actually explaining the, uh, the two chief, Donald Ben, as that. It was an unsportsmanlike foul and a technical foul combined. That's two. And uh, that's why he's out of the court. Ito makikita natin. Scoring per quarter. 15-18. Favoring Sarangani. 17-14. Still Sarangani. But third quarter, among at 19-15. Favoring Marikina. Estacio na libre sa tres. Paso kaan! Here in Estacio. Again, Marikina making the right plays here. And Aaron Estacio thought he had a steal on Ludovice. Three-point lead for uh, Marikina. What a turnaround here in uh, probably the last uh, four or five minutes of this ball game. Alam mo, yung pagkawala ni uh, Espinas actually intensified even more yung energy ng Marikina. They have one added oomph, itong Marikina over Sarangani. And that's the reason why Coach John Callios, yan, makikita natin questioning the referees, the calls against them, or the non-calls that should have been called for them. Callos also teed up. Well, it ha 
has been a really slow night for both teams. Yet exciting Seville in its own way, no? Yung things that are unpredictable. It's now a nine point lead for Marikina, but you have to, you have to say that Sarakani has not been at their best. They, they can't seem to find a way to break this defense implemented by Marikina ever since they started doing this 1-3-1 one -one zone that everybody moves around. And Kit Jimenez finding an answer. Corner three para kay Kit Jimenez to cut the lead of Marikina to just six as we bring you to Gianna Leone. Sidelf and JV, I was actually able to talk to even Luda Pisa for a bit. Sabi niya, ginagawa niya motivation ng live audience dahil andito nga ngayon ang five-year-old son niya na si Lucas who's able to watch him for the first time live. He shares also that during the pandemic, one of the things he learned was that basketball is not forever. So he's actually managing a garment business on the side. Sabi niya, the brotherhood is the biggest difference in this team than the other teams he played for previously in the MPBL. So before entering this quarter, Coach John looked at him one-on-one -on -one and told him, Ikaw ang dapat magbigay kulay sa laro natin ngayon. You have to push the ball. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Gianna. Thank you, Gianna. Certain reminders from the Coach John Carlos as Sarangani now down by six. Sanga with another three. That won't work. And the ball will stay with Sarangani. Action has picked up in the last uh, few possessions. The report ng ni Gianna, combined nine points on the two teams. Combined nine points nga. At biglang tumira na ng tumira itong Sarangani. Which is what they need to do rather than continuously moving that ball around. But great defense there by Marikina on Ludovice. Now, Ludovice it hasn't been his night. Ivan Ludovice, only five points. Aaron Estacio, binigay kay Casajeros. Casajeros, Ludovice read that play. Kit Jimenez with five points in the game, fouled by Casajeros as he wanted to start uh, pushing that basketball. I like that Ludovisa did, did not give up on the play on defense and that's the reason why he was able to take that ball away. Anticipating lang na magkakaroon ng extra pass. Marikina sues for time. They are up by six with 7.35 remaining. Jimenez right here trying to keep Sarangani in the thick of the fight. Corner three para sa kanya. Sinagot ni Casajeros who now has uh, 18 points in the ball game. Basibas also nailing a three ball and that brings us to a six point game. Namang pa rin ang Marikina. Bola na Sarangani ngayon and a foul away from the ball. From our angle, kitang kita kinakapitan ni Guinness itong si Paul Sanga. Apat na for Matt Guinness. 13 foul for Marikina. They've been in the penalty and in all three quarters previously. Kitin Menes from the parking lot. Valentino grabs the board. But right now, they need an address in this Sarangani. They just need to be consistent in scoring in every possession. Aaron Estancio lost the handle. Last touch with Danny Marilao. Ball will stay with Marikina. 15 seconds in their top. Estancio to inbound. Steal by Ludovice. 
Sangha for three. Yes! Well, if there's one person you'd want to take that three in a crucial stage of the game, Paul Sangha. 59 to 56, Marikina protecting a three point lead under seven minutes remaining. Eight points by Paul Sangha. Sibas, happy to one of all. Tingnan natin dito, Lodovice finding the shooter, Paul Sang as a corner. And it doesn't matter how many threes he has missed in this ballgame, he will continue to shoot. Oh nga, and, and ang kagandaan sa ugali niya, he will start from down low, teasing you to play defense in the painted area, then he'd run out to his best spot, the three-point shot. Aaron Estacio, Took that three quickly as Jimenez grabs another rebound. Here he is, Nahana Paul Sanga. Pasok yan! Eleven points para kay Paul Sanga and we have a tied game, 59 all. Estacio. Gaiosa for three. No. Women. Yes, with another rebound. Back to back rebounds for Jimenez on defense. Jimenez step back three. Short. Rebound by Casajeros. Ahead to Mendoza, easy two. Oh, great outlet pass there to Mendoza, no heads up. Play by his teammate. Here we see three point field goal, 6 of 23 for Sarangani, 5 of 18 for Marigina. Gets the ball back. Plenty of contact there on uh, Paul Sanga. Wala pa sa penalty ang Marikina, although that puts them in the penalty. May panibagong hanga ako dito sa Marikina team, you know. Just when you think that they the, nasa abog na yung kanilang logo, eh biglang nagkaroon pa ng hangin at kumalaban. Napakagandang panuorin, Marikina team giving Sarangani a run for their money. 10 seconds to work with for Sarangani. Sanga na libre. Sanga fires! Mm. Pasok yan! Fourth quarter, three-point field goals. Four of seven for Sarangani. Ah, five of seven. Five of eight. But for Sarangani, two of six for Marikina. Paul Sanga talaga. Pangatso na. Ipinupokol dito sa stretch na to. Sarangani back in the lead. 62 to 61. Casajero's in trouble. Dava, miss, rebound, Marilao, Ludovice, I will think to open up here for uh, Sarangani with uh, Sanga waxing hot, Jimenez, Trumper, no, rebound Aaron Estacio, Estacio nagmamadali, Runs into Ludovice. Offensive foul. Crowd getting behind Sarangani as Estacio runs into Ludovice. Hello, Mosi Ludovice. He's right now lying down. He feels the pain of that bump, or he was just run over by a really tough Estacio. He's doing a lot of things, not scoring, but he's helping on defense, assisting, and doing those plays that people don't expect you to, you know, do by a star. Mabanggit nga natin si Del. Ivan Ludovice, best player in the previous two games in Sarangani, this time. Very critical player siya because he's helping not by scoring but doing so many other things. 
Jimenez nakabuelo. The ball is live. Kit Jimenez, Mentes ang kanyang tres. Gayosa with another rebound. Well, right now, Sarangan is up. Jimenez does not need those threes. He can actually create and give his teammates an opportunity to score. 62 to 61. Marikina. Andres, uh, the jumper, actually from uh, Gayosa. Dava whistled for the foul. That will send Marilao to the line. Dava in that situation got all ball, but his body just landed on the defend the, the rebounder. Pinakausap ni Coach John Callis, Kit Jimenez. You know, Kit Jimenez, He's learning. He's learning how to play in this kind of a scenario. And that's why he wants, you know, those and nice... And, and especially when his shot is not there. Yep. He, but, he's got to play through that. And he needs to understand he can create for his team, especially when you have a guy hitting like Paul Sanga. And Danny Marilao makes the first free throw. 63 to 61. 3.59 remaining. Another aspect of his game that si Jimenez that he needs to understand is he's got two guys, Marilao and Basibas, who move well without the ball. And so when, once he creates, he can make extra passes for those two guys scoring in the post-up play or in the painted area. Sana uh, whistle for the foul. Just the second team, 13 foul on uh, Sarangani. And the first on Paul Sana. 61 ang ating score. As we mentioned, under four minutes remaining. Gayosa. Go to Palatino now, back to Gayosa. 10 seconds in the shot clock. Gayosa, iniwasan ng double team. Pupunta siya sa linya for two free throws. Good aggressive drive there. I like the hesitation. He steps back a bit and continues his penetration, getting himself fouled in the process of trying to make that shot. 63 to 61, ang ating score. Alfred Gayosa, nasa linya ngayon. Nine points in the first half. This ang unang free throw. Just when you expect him to make that shot, ano? Ito si Gayos. Ang ganda ng nilalaro niya. And then, Rusha, I'm sure he's gonna make this one. Yes, he did. 11 points para kay Alfred. Former San Sebastian Stag. We have a one-point game. Sarangani. Bringing to that advantage. Jimenez matched up against Casajeros. And Jimenez will go to the line for two free throws. That you know, JV Canina, that he can uh, take that his man you know, one on one and he can go to the rack and now watch a foul. Yes, he can only because nag adjust na ngayon ang defense ng Marikina, nag nagtatao tao na sila hindi na sila zone defense, and that leaves him one side one on one against his defender. And two for two para kay Kit Jimenez, five points here, five of his seven. In uh, the final here, Ocampo Ilalabas Dito. Lodava back in the game. Estacio. Here's Aaron Estacio. Umatake able to draw the foul. on several occasions the players of Marikina are attacking the left side of the basket using their right hand and a lot of times because they're using their right hand hindi nila natatapos ang layup it's something that they need to really work on yung left hand layup and use the right to ward off or just protect the attempt Second, but they get the rebound. Gayosa, great effort there. 
Loyosa nahanap si Tolentino sa ilalim. Basibas is whistled for the foul. They have it. Oh, oh, alam ko yan, very sensitive si Coach John Carlos sa mga ganyan. Yung mga, may maganda na ang depensa mo but you give it up by allowing the defense, uh, the offense by getting another chance. No? And Jackson to four ang ating talaan. Two minutes and 20 remaining. Nakikit Jimenez ang bola. They're back to their zone defense. Ito Marikina, 1-3-1 with everybody rotating on D. Jimenez, umatake. Out to Basibas for three. In and out. Atamek, napunta kay Jexer Tolentino. Estacio, nagmamadaling. And that is off a uh, Sarangani player. So, uh, nasa... Marikina pa rin ang bola. They should be careful here. Sarangani has been great on defense, lalo na in, when the inbound is down low. And they're asking for a review here and since we're under the under two minutes. Oh, that is off Marilao. Yes, off Marilao's leg. Mabanggit ko lang ulit, ano? Marikina should be careful every time they inbound it down low. Nakakaagaw itong Sarangani. Confirmation and tawag na yun. Good call by a referee. Seventeen to shoot. Tolentino inside. Pili na kapatay. Estacio to Gayosa for three. Short. Ludovice with the rebound. Pinigay kay Kit Jimenez. Slow things down. They want to clear out. Para kay Kit. Ten seconds to work with. For Jimenez. Jimenez drives baseline. The runner is good. Kit Jimenez with 11 points. Coming through with some clutch baskets here. Well, doing what you do best, attacking the basket, using the glass. Once he elevates, wala na, hirap ng pigilin. He's got that in his uh, bag, that teardrop. When you pointed out, kinakausap ni, sa ni Coach John Carlos, I think sinasabi, hindi mo kailangan tumira ng tres, i-penetrate mo na because he has, he has stopped shooting the three and decided to penetrate ever since. Nine to 65. Karoluka in the second free throw. Two for two. Three point game. He managed. Gives it up. Here's Sama for three. Short. Marikina with a chance to tie with a three here. Karuruka, no matake, blocked by Basibas. I thought Karuruka penetrated and would make that extra pass to an open Tolentino. But instead, proceeded to try to make. Sarangani, one point lead for them. Lodovice. Not the step, the basmuna, I get Jimenez. Eight seconds to work with. Here's Jimenez. Marigeke Marilao. Three ball, yes! An unlikely source. But nonetheless, a big play for Danny Marilao. Great shot by Danny Marilao, but Sino ang gumawa? Sino nag set up? Get Jimenez, and that's what we were talking about earlier. Everybody knows Get Jimenez will try to score once he has that ball, but this time attracting everybody on defense, giving that ball out to Marilao. 38 seconds remaining. Get Jimenez with the shot clock winding down. Three players 
ang nakapaligid sa kanya and that is Marilao open for the corner three and Danny Marilao he hardly shoots threes I think that's his first attempt from the three I can't even recall him taking a prior attempt before that so anyway Kid Jimenez this is a learning experience for him he can be the go-to guy and creative person para sa kanyang team great pass there by Kid Jimenez and that's the seventh assist para kay Kid Jimenez what a game so far for Kid Jimenez Offensively, it has been a struggle. First three quarters, but it's the fourth quarter. He's very efficient, and he's made the right decision. When he had the ball. At alam mo kung bakit napakaganda sa situation ng Sarangani because na iwan si Marilao libre because they cannot leave. Pasibas, they cannot leave Ludovice alone. Hello, Matty referee. Referee Hiram Scott. And we'll go against Kid Jimenez. Ayosa on the move. It was all ball. Yep, looked like it was all ball. Pero yung palo eh, sana hindi mo na lang nakapayong. Come on, release yung bola de derecho sa Alianis. Yes, Delvin JV, I am with our player of the game from Sarangani, Kit Jimenez. He had 11 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. Kit, numerous times in the fourth quarter, we saw that he didn't hit the coach John and he was talking about the one-on-one. What are you saying to him? I told him that Coach John said that I need to be able to do it. I need to be able to do it in the team. Because I know that in the first half, I was so cold and I didn't have to be able to do it in the team. Kung baga ng first half, nakadepensa lang ako nakapokus, wala ako mahambag sa offense. Kaya, kinakusap ako ni Coach Dan, kailangan kong gumisay, kailangan kong mag-warm up. Kaya, binigay ko yung best ko para mag-isay. Kasi, lamang yung kalaban eh. So, parang down na kami. So, binigay ko yung best ko para mag-isay yung crowd, yung teammates ko. Kaya, yun. And as you mentioned, nagising talaga yung crowd. Parang ang dami mong fans dito sa Batangas City Coliseum ngayon. So lalo na sa fourth quarter, nakita namin you were making good decisions. Kalmado ka pa rin. So saan ka kumuha ng kumpiyansa? Uh, Siyempre, sa mga tao na nanonood. Kasi alam ko po, ayaw ko sayangin yung pagpunta nila. Kaya binibigay ko yung best ko every game ko. Kaya hindi ko sasayangin yung pagpunta lahat ng mga tao dito. Okay, kids, as you see, marami ka ng fans dito and I'm sure so many people watching are proud of you as well. Pasalamatan mo naman lahat ng sumusupport sa iyo. Uh, Siyempre yun na kay Lord. Thank you, our Lord, na nakabangon kami ng second half. Kahit medyo cold kami ng first half, tsaka cold ako. Nagyan ako ni Lord ng lakas para makabawi ng second half. Then, sobrang salamat sa lahat na pumunta dito. And sa Sarangani community, and sa mga team owners namin, sa OK Bet, sa El Supreme. Yan, Team Sarangani, and sa families ko, Jimenez family, and sa Pierce House family. Uh, and yung daddy ko, yan, shout out din sa girlfriend ko si Joy Pierce House, and the RX Nation. Congratulations once again to our player of the game, Kid Jimenez, back to you, Sadelf and JV. So Sarangani goes 3-0 in the South Division after a hard-fought win against the Marikina Shoemasters, OK Bet, Kid Jimenez, with an outstanding fourth quarter, leading his team to another win. Up next, the Batanga City Embassy Chill hosting the Jensen Warriors OK Bet. An interesting matchup as the unbeaten Batangas team take on the Jensen team looking for its first win of the season. My partner, Coach David Gayos, of course, our courtside reporter, Gianna Liang.